the way you write a question can impact the answer that people will give that question. This is a topic that is only for the Educast GCSE. So if you're working with a different exam board, you can skip this topic. Do you like this topic? Yes, absolutely, of course, or all of the above. When asking people for their opinions, the questions can be extremely important to obtain reliable data. Is this question fair? You've probably realised that the data from this question will be universally positive, even if not everybody enjoys this topic. We'll be looking today at more subtle ways a question can give biased or unreliable answers. Let's go through these questions. It is important when asking a question to get the person's true feelings. This question is very opinionated and could push some people into a negative response about the canteen. So, a better question would be, what are your views on the canteen? Positive, negative or neither? When writing questions, it's really important to avoid being vague. What do you do is very vague. Make sure that the person knows exactly what they're being asked. We also don't have enough responses. It's always good to remember that most great questions will have an other or a none box or sometimes both. So a better question is, what is your favorite activity? Read, watch TV, play sport or other. Looking at this question, if you have no pets, which box do you tick? If you have three pets, do you tick the second or third box? Tick boxes must be exhaustive and contain no overlaps. So there is no option for zero pets or more than four, and there is an overlap because three is repeated. So a better question is to include zero and include five or more and avoid the overlap. So we have one to two and then three to four. Let's end on this. Why might a company include a bad question in a questionnaire sent to their customers? If you've got an idea, write it in the comments below. And you can also come to onmaths.com or click the link in the description where you get access to all our GCSE papers and predictions for free and you can even save your scores with a free account. This video is part of a larger GCSE course that you can follow along with at onmaths.com.